Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create Windows 11 bootable USB in Windows. So basically, the very first thing is that you have to attach the Windows, uh, sorry, the USB to your computer. You can see that I have attached the USB and it is already bootable with Windows 10. And the second thing is that you have to download the uh, Rufio's. Now from here, you can download Rufio's portable version. It is 1 MB. Okay, the second thing is that you have to download the Windows 11 ISO image. So basically, you can visit interzoom.com and uh, there you can see I have provided the method that you can download the Windows 11 uh, for free. So basically, this is the legal way from Microsoft at the moment. They have not released it here, but soon enough they are going to release. But again, if you scroll down, uh, here is also another method. Uh, there is a soil called, called uh, UU pdump.net from there you can download here is also the guidance that i have provided everything step by step for you okay uh now there's also the third thing but it is not very stable and i'm going to re remove these links as soon as possible so you can see that here i've provided three download links part one part two and then part three if you click them it is going to download the windows uh 11 iso directly and basically i have taken these links from the, an Iranian website and it contains all the versions of the Windows 11 that you needed. There is Home, there is Pro, there is a Workstation and there is Windows uh, 11 Team I think. Uh, so you can see that uh, Part 1 and Part 2 is 2GB and then Part 3 is I think around 1.5GB or 1.6GB, I do not remember. Okay, it is 1.43GB. So after downloading them, you have to simply put them inside one folder and right click and extract them inside one directory. Okay, once you extracted that one, you can see that it will look like this. So and the size is basically in total, uh, it is uh, 5.34 GB. So this is how you can download the Windows 11 ISO image. So okay now to create the windows 11 bootable usb just as i said before you have to run the rufios okay you need to run the rufios just go ahead to the wherever that you download the rufios okay here is the version that i downloaded just click open choose yes and now from here you have to choose the usb which it already chosen by default uh click select and locate the ISO of the Windows 11. Basically, it is in the desktop. You can see it there. And then click open. And uh, remember that uh, it only support, uh, I think GPT MBR is not supported there. So make sure that GPT is selected. And it is the newest version of the Windows 11. So once you are done, just simply click start and OK. And it is going to uh, copy all the required files from the, uh, from the, ISO inside the USB and there's also and the actuation problem you need to also download the actuation and uh, actuate the Windows 11. I, I think I have already provided the uh, actuation inside the telegram group and I'm also going to provide the download links inside the uh, telegram group here also so you can download it from here. Uh, who knows uh, when they are going to take down those links so you can see that uh, the telegram group is called intoguide.com and here's also the actuator kml uh, okay you can see it is universal actuator for the windows uh, 11 and windows 10 so it is going to take some time until it is going to uh, copy i'm going to pause the section and once it is done i will be back with you guys Okay, now you can see it is at 99.5% uh, and it's going to be completed soon. Then I'm also going to put the uh, actuator inside the uh, USB. Then I'll do a, a, perform a clean installation of the Windows 11. Basically, the current version which I'm using, it is the home and I do not like the home version. I like the pro version.
okay now you can see that it is completed just simply close it again close and i have actuator available in my computer i'm just simply going to uh paste it there os and kmls auto yeah that is the thing okay they have removed the thing in the windows 11 so i'm using the older version sent to the usb yep Yep, now that is available. So this is how you can simply create a bootable USB to Windows 11. Uh, so if you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. And till next time, have a nice time and goodbye. Please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So have a nice time and good day.